last time. Alright, um, I got the competition set finally. I have mixed feelings about the armor. I don't feel like it has enough kinetic resist on it. The gem Hadar armor has a hundred kinetic resist. Kinetic resist is important in PvP. The shield has kinetic resist. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the gun is like a finishing move style weapon. You, you move in close and blast on them with the secondary fire. So I'll always, I always love that strategy. And uh, the kit mod, I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it works. Sometimes it's a dud, sometimes they just walk through it, you'll see. And because I do a lot of private uh, PvP matches, they're like two versus two. Ba boom ba boom. This trait is a lot of fun. Taking you with me. If you die, you'll respawn. Right? And, but you're worth a new kill. So if you use those respawning consumables, if you're just doing a private match, say you want credit because you don't get credit unless you do 15 full kills. If it's a one versus one, that's terrible. But if you've got these uh, tricks up your sleeve to respawn yourself immediately... And you'll either kill them or they'll kill you. It'll speed things up and make it a lot more funner. It's not about winning, really. But yeah, the competitive consumables in this trait uh, really light the fire in a small private match. Pew, pew. Alright, let's see. See, it deploys kind of slow. I can see shooting it around a corner. They, they didn't even notice it, really. Uh-huh. I don't really see what it does. It doesn't expose them either, to my knowledge. If it does, it doesn't do it often, that's for sure. So, see if I can keep from moitering him. Spray and do 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 lag. You gotta hope for the expose. The expose is what makes the secondary fire on uh. The pistol is so important because it's an exploit attack. Alright, that's all you get today.